Oh, okay, thanks. Oh no, <laughs> not this. Remembering the year you took PSLE, what was that like for you? 3 out of 10. Wouldn't do it again. I was quite relaxed. Firstly, I, I think the concept of having a national exam when you're 11 is kind of crazy. The whole year you're like rushing, and then towards the end only the results kind of mattered. Like my parents kept on telling me that you know it would decide where I would go or how well I'd do in life. Tensions are very high. And what was difficult for me was you know having teachers tell me uh, like you know you never be amount to much and why can't you get this concept? I felt that there was a lot of pressure on me whenever I did my exams due to the fear of failing. Now that you are in university, how important are grades to you now? They are still important because I still need to graduate, right? <laughs> but along the years, I realised that they become less and less important. Or rather, there were other things that I was more interested in. So for me, it was entrepreneurship. It was also about sustainability because I felt like there were much more impact that I was creating. We make use of barley husks uh, that are basically residues from beer making to actually make granola. So I, I didn't like the way um, my school portrays information to us, right? It just, they just send you slides and they say, okay, these are the slides, go and learn this. So I always try to find ways to, to enrich my learning. And I was very interested in technology as well and how technology can make the world a better place. And we went down this hackathon route. Every day, you throw away bins and bins of food, right? So I'm thinking, how can we use data analytics to predict how much food is being produced or required? One thing that I love about university is you can be on very, very close terms with your professor. And this gives you a lot of opportunity to learn more from them. I had a casual conversation with my instructor in the lab, and we are just talking about like, our interest in fermentation. Of course, we generate a lot of food waste here in Singapore, and you know, the best way to get rid of it is to make it something more useful. And it just evolved into this project. We use this underutilized uh, soy pulp, known as okara. Uh, it's that fibrous waste that is produced from soy milk. We actually ferment this soy pulp into something of much higher value something that people can actually consume and enjoy. I've never thought that I would be an entrepreneur. I think even from secondary school, I was already thinking that you know, I would be um, in government. It's only when I was in university and got exposed to a lot of things that I was never exposed to in Singapore, um, especially in sustainable food systems. I see entrepreneurship as the most effective way of, um, of tackling a huge problem in Singapore. I happened to know a couple of businesses that were throwing away a lot of food and I just couldn't stand it. I, I just had to create uh, these ecosystems where good food is recovered and redistributed. This startup is an expression of the research and the return of all the investment that our education system has put into me. You know? And I don't want it to return in a way like you know, in a sort of academic journals where it will just stay and only be read by small people people, but I want it to be enjoyed and experienced by many, many people. How has learning changed since joining university? There's no textbook answer for this. There's no, you can't flip to the end and the answer key is behind. When running our trials, we were constantly facing failure. Through our failures, we are able to constantly improve our product. And when we received the news that, you know, yeah, DBS wanted to support us in this endeavour, that really gave us the confidence to uh, pursue it further. We do not know how to operate in this business world, but we can learn. You know, and you shouldn't be afraid to learn. So much more, more failure among so many. You know, all you need is just that one success. If I fail, it's okay, because I'm gonna find another way eventually to get to where I am. I know I'm young. I've got years ahead of me. In the grand scheme of things, like there could have been a lot of different ways like, to get to where uh, I wanted to go as well. So, uh, getting good grades was just one of the, I would say, maybe more efficient way, but it's definitely not the only way.